So you you all have done quite a good job with 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 the homework. How how did it feel? There was one that I had to play over and over because the woman said it so quickly, mm -hmm. um, and I still could not hear it as it was written down. Um, I it still didn't sound right. It was. Um, Veselu grozu abulu. Yeah. And it was so fast that I, it was really hard to pick up on. Mm -hmm. But you did really, really well with this one. So I would have never imagined that this was <laughs> the difficult one. The one, uh, the, the second one that you just sent like a couple of hours ago or so, I don't know when, um, that is tricky. You heard barinu, I think. Oh, barinya in a bunch. Oh, no, the weird thing is I live by barinu Ela, and I thought that that meant orphan, but I put barinya into um, a, a translator and it said in a bunch. Mm -hmm. So barinu and barinu. So that the, the changes the meaning of the word. As you typed it with the... With the Diacritical with R, ah, that does mean the orphans. So, oh, did I? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's yeah. um, not how I've written it down in my notebook. Uh -huh. I've written yeah. it down twice in my notebook without a long A. Yeah, so, yes. yeah it should um, be with R. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. very hot. I've got the opposite of brain freeze. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it is, it is true. To hear those short and long uh, vowels for a learner of Latvian is not easy. And uh, yeah, Mark, would you like to share how it went with you? Like, well, how, how did it work? <clears throat> I, I, I started the week going back to the beginning and, and trying to listen because obviously Tom and Anita last week was writing it out. And, and I did about a minute of that <laughs> going backwards and backwards. And I, I never noticed the accent the very first time I listened to it. But when you said she had an accent, I it's really clear the way she speaks it is very difficult. And I, I did the best I could in, in the time. And then my partner then went over and corrected some words. I then looked it up and then she helped me with that. And then I went on to the homework and then the homework said mine's from the halfway onwards. So yeah. I stopped doing that because I would never have got through everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then I listened quite a few times and it, it eventually. What I thought was good and sneaky from your point of view, the way you wrote it, I thought that was the order it was going to be, but it wasn't. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I thought that was a genius, genius. <laughs> Because I was looking, oh, that doesn't, and so I was going backwards. I said, and so that was really good. Um, but I had to listen to it loads of times to, to yeah. get it. It was very good helping you listen to words. Yeah. So it, mm -hmm. it was good. I, I enjoyed doing it, and it mm -hmm. made you listen to things mm -hmm. a lot more. So I so, do listen to the radio now mm -hmm. when I'm working to try and listen to words. So, yes, it, it, I found it very... Um, enjoyable I don't always follow everything but I pick up words and I think oh does that mean that mm -hmm. so it was quite and good. that that was the whole point that was just that, that was the whole point to listen to and, and notice those little things yeah mm -hmm. to share with you I, I our mm -hmm. my sister-in-law gave me this book mm -hmm. um and actually I'm going to start reading this it's it's about ABCs but it's all yes. about um, the pronunciation of the letters. So yes. it's all the way through of all the different letters. And I think it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, got different words to try and exaggerate the E's and the and the L's and that. Yeah, uh, exactly. That help me with some of my pronunciations. But it's a right. Yeah. Again, but my little girl, but it, it's going to be mine. <laughs> yeah, the, the, we've the, got the, the same. We've got one of those that I've just, I haven't been into it much, but I'm going to I'm going to do a bit more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is that is good for yeah for distinguishing between the short and long vowels. Definitely, definitely. 
Yeah, and I think if I can get the alphabet right, because I still not got that right, that will help me with with the pronunciation. What do you mean by you haven't got the alphabet right? Like, when I look at letters, I still in my head pronounce it on the English way. Ah, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it right. takes time. You know, you know. Frankly speaking, Mark, uh, uh, for me. Like when people ask me to spell a word in English, I can never do it as quickly as English speakers. I, because I, I literally, I need to visualize and then I need to translate it. It doesn't come naturally because when I want to spell, I want to spell Latin. So it may take a while. I certainly, I know how to write them. I know how to, me, I mean, I know how to spell them, meaning that I know what letter comes after which letter. But if I am made to, spell it out letter by letter or sound by sound. I cannot do it. Uh, I mean, I can, but it really, it's, it's for me, it takes a lot slower. And when people say, oh, it's this word, and then they spell it, I don't visualize it immediately. For me, it's like, do it 10 times slower, please. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, but, but yeah, for that, it would be good practice maybe but your wife actually spells out the words, like letter by letter, and you write them down. Okay, yes. That could be like one day a week practice, maybe. Yeah. Try that, how that works, yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. yeah. So, now, Tom, you noticed that I left you uh, at the end of the line because your homework was to prepare a task <laughs> for everyone else. But generally, how did it go? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, I felt like I listened to it a lot and was stopping and going back and playing yeah. bits again two or three times. And I felt like I understood. No, sorry. I, I felt like I recognised the words even if I didn't understand the sentence. Mm -hmm. So I was able to stop it, write it down, go away and translate and come back to it. So that that felt like a bit of progress. Um, there was still quite, there was a few bits, particularly where the narrator comes in to, to tell the story that was too quick for me, really. Mm -hmm. he, he was he was the sort of fastest speaker, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, but I enjoyed it. And then I went, I watched that film. I think I mentioned it in the WhatsApp group because I thought, well, I'll try and right. listen to something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and to be honest, I found the film a lot harder. Um, just because I think the, lang the, 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 the sound is not quite the same as the radio theatre stuff. Mm -hmm. in it's not, you know, it's, it's people speaking in normal ways. It's not quite as clear. Some of it's mumbled, some of it's hurried. So I, I found that I could, rec I could pick out much less of the film. But I watched the film with subtitles on, so that helped me. Right. Helped me sort of pick up what some of the words could have been. Um, but yeah, it felt it, it felt good, and I would probably do more. I made like quite a lot of notes about stuff that I picked up, mm -hmm. um, and it was uh, I think it was it was definitely useful. And and I see, and I didn't know how 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 you will approach it because I know that you really you are a challenger. You challenge yourself like nobody else, <laughs> like <laughs> the, like there's no joke and. I didn't even expect you to understand, but like when you asked that one sentence, I forgot what it was. I was thinking, oh my gosh, Tom even got to this one and tried to like, good yeah. job, Tom. That is wonderful. Yeah. There was quite a lot of it where I could pick out, um, <clears throat> I reached that level where it was a bit frustrating because I could understand the word, but I was still two sentences behind trying to work out what that was in English. Um, so I probably need to remove that part of it next time I do this kind of exercise and just listen to that bit and then right. revisit the meaning. The right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And obviously it's different listening to the same passage quite a lot, which mm -hmm. is why I was thinking, oh, well, I better listen to something else just to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Area a little bit. Um, yeah. So, yeah, small, I feel like I made some small progress with it and it's mm -hmm. like, it's definitely good to be focused on the listening because I think that is it's just the weakest it's it's the hardest part for me. Yeah. Well, the thing is that you want to understand everything, and I'm trying to uh, like tell you just relax into it. That give uh, like 
allow yourself to not understand everything. Allow yeah, you, yeah. yourself just to pick out, you know, things that you understand and let go of because it comes with time. You, it's, you, you cannot possibly understand everything at the beginning, but it's good that you're challenging yourself. I'm not, you know, against it. It's just like I'm saying it's okay to not do it. And actually at the beginning, like for Mark and Anita, it sounds like you like made excellent choices the way you approached the task that's actually how I wanted you to do it so great job everyone (laughs) 